Alright, hey there guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Friends and Mahiki, and today we're back with another episode of the Hidden Child Challenge. So, uh, today it's actually kind of looking like that Aiden isn't feeling so well. He's actually got some spots going on here. I mean, like, honey, I know you have, like, four ki uh, like, three kids. It's going to be four, but come on. Really? Alright, anyways, though, Aiden's not feeling so well. Victoria had to go ahead and take a nap because having a baby just tires her out. <sighs> guess, oh no. I mean, I honestly think the one, one of the worst pregnancies I've ever seen in any of my sims is Brooklyn Wilder's pregnancy from Get Together. Like, I mean, she just had a miserable pregnancy. Like, it was miserable the entire time. Like, I mean, like, there are times where she was just so... Well, not really tired, but she had really bad sleep. Well, she had, like, this really bad thing where she kept throwing up everywhere. So, she would keep throwing up, and and that would happen after every meal. Oh, she got another... Uh-huh! But, yeah, it's definitely something, though, that makes her feel very, very different. And very weird. So, anyways, so we're just going to go ahead here and we're going to make her go pee. Um, just because she's... So want her up when the kids come home and, you know, ready to help them out in any way that, that she can to make sure that her kids are going to be able to, you know, go to school, get their grades up high. Because almost always all of my children have really high grades and now I'm yawning because I'm like super tired. Like, <laughs> you guys have no idea how much these past cold days have taken a toll on me. Um, so like, I mean, I was, I was, because actually when I was at work a couple days ago, someone that, um, one of my coworkers asked me what I had what, what, what plans I had for summer, and I'm like, <laughs> what plans? I live here. Like, like, I, like, I basically live at work. Like, I just, I work all freaking week. Um, I have a lot of hours next week. So, yeah. I mean, it's not like a bad thing, but it's, it's definitely something that's hard to adjust to when you're like really used to like, only like working six hours a week because that's all they could give you was six hours a week. And so I'm really used to that now where, you know, where we work six hours a week. Where I, you know, where, where I've worked six hours a week, and that was what I was used to. So it's definitely has taken a toll on me. So. You know, um. Oh, poor Victoria. She is not feeling so hot. Anyways, though, I think we're going to go ahead here, and we're just going to send a happy text to Marcus Flex. Um, because he's been texting Victoria about something. About, you know, just, just having some time with his daughter, uh, with his daughter, um, Destiny, and she's like, well, what do you want to do? And she's and he's like, well, I just, I kind of want to go ahead and take her camping. And all of that, which, I mean, Victoria is willing to take obliged to, because we are killing him very soon. Oh, it's a great day. Let's go out. Let's go out and enjoy the day at Hare Square. Okay, let's go out. All right. Um, so Marcus Flex is here now. Marcus Flex is here now. So we're going to go ahead here, and we're going to, um, you know, once I can go ahead and share some more photos of Destiny, and just, you know, just... <laughs> We're really trying to keep him in the um in like the loop of the of the whole situation, but sometimes I know though that is not really the best thing to do, especially since you know Victoria definitely believes in keeping your friends close and your enemies closer, so <laughs> you know you know so 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 keeping him in this loop about. But this whole thing is definitely something that she's interested in, and keeping him, you know, and just keeping him really close really will help her in the future. 
So he's so right now he's kind of telling her well that he wants to go out for the for the weekend with the girl and you know and take her out to like a beach or something. I mean like like he has like a beach out out in um out in um Granite Falls, which I have the beach mod installed, so it's basically now like a beach destination now. So that's exactly what he's telling her right now is that um is that he has like a beach house out in um, um, Great Eye Falls, and that it's something that he absolutely loves in the doors, and Victoria is a little bit confused by the whole situation. Like, like he basically wants to go ahead and just take and take her daughter out on like something, something very private and something very, you know, very, very um. Something very private, something very, very alone with, um, with Destiny. And it will be kind of the first time that Destiny really gets to do anything. Oh. And now they are getting ready to age up again. Oh, but Victoria. <laughs> She's so tired. I feel bad for everybody. But that's definitely a thing, though, is just... Core Victoria. Oh my goodness. Okay, I think we'll go ahead and actually send her home. Just be... Just because of the whole situation going on here. And all that fun stuff. So, I think we're going to go ahead here and send her home. Um, I mean, I think this might just be a short episode, because I have to record in bulk. And... I recorded like bulk today, um, so actually, you know what? I'll just be right back there, guys. Alright, sorry about that, guys. So, Victoria's heading back home now because she needs to go back home really bad. Victoria, uh, I mean, don't get me wrong, Brooklyn's still one of the worst pregnancies I've ever seen in Sims 4. Like, I mean, like, she was puking after every meal. So, but why is so pretty in Sims 4? All right, so now we are back. Destiny is uh, this guy's uh, Aiden's here now. Good girl, she's being very smart. She's learned her schedule now, and she's learned where she belongs. <laughs> like, 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 I'm not like catching her everywhere. Like, like I used to never like I like go to like my game and all that. Which I mean, if he does talk to Aiden during that point in time, I can't really control that as. Um. So she kind of does that on her own, and I can't really control that because when I'm away, you know, she'll do whatever the heck she wants. Alright, Anne needs to go ahead and actually serve lunch for everybody because Victoria's getting- Ooh, Mindstrom. I'm gonna go ahead and have that. I'm gonna try something new today. Ah, she's just currently watching some TV slash going to the potty because she needs to go to the potty. Plus, you don't get any fun until you're done your homework. What are you talking about? What drugs are you on? And that's for you, Mr. Alec. Boy. Thing. I don't care how close it is to your birthday. You only- you- you, you still have two days. You are not eating up till Tuesday. So, like, Loki, you need to do stuff. Anastasia still needs to do stuff. Victoria is pregnant, so she's not aging. Aiden is nine days away from aging. Victor Destiny is six days away from aging. And Anastasia is seven days from aging. So I think after the baby's born, I might play off a couple of these off screens because I know you guys really want to see uh, Destiny as like a teenager, and so do I. So, what would you guys really think in terms of Destiny's style when she's a teenager? Like, do, like, do you think she'll still be a 
like a full blown girly girl, or do you think she might be a little bit more rebellious appearing when she's when she's older? Like, let me know because I don't know entirely what I think of her as a. Well, I think she's a cute girly girl for now, but what happens when all of the uh when all of the uh, teenager hormones kick in? I mean, as you can all see, you know the hormones are already starting to kick in for her. Being, you know, she's still, I mean, she's still got, I mean, she's still got some time left on her clock, but she's starting to feel a bit more angsty and a little bit more hormonal and, you know, than, than normal. Which I feel like could be Victoria, I mean, Destiny just being a little bit cooped up. So she's right now actually telling her that... That her dad's gonna go ahead and actually take her away for you know, just for a couple days. Not you know like you know it's just, it's it's gonna be like, like an overnight camping trip for Destiny, and Destiny is totally actually kind of digging that. Like she's she's actually kind of like excited because I mean she know because I mean Victoria knows that Destiny kind of is really cooped up in the shuttle week and really doesn't get much time to go outside and go play like like her siblings for example so victoria is telling her well okay babe we don't break any of my sinks anymore that'd be great since we can't have aiden come in here all right and victoria's once again starting to feel a little bit sleepy so she's going to go ahead and take a nap Aiden is done. I mean, Alex is done his homework, so he can now go grab a serving. You are you done your homework, good sir? No, you haven't. Not you haven't even started, hunty. You don't get to play computer games. No, you get to do your homework first. Homework first, video games second. And Anastasia is doing her homework right now. Okay. I swear, Anastasia is such a hard worker, and I actually really admire how much of a hard worker that she is. I mean, like, yeah, we're probably definitely going to have to, like, move around and all that, so that way we can kind of develop our own life again here. Because I definitely really feel like that Anastasia really... <sighs> Is that when she's as is that when she's like a young adult and all that, then she's ready to move out and she can become like a little doctor, meet her meet her boyfriend or whatever, and then you now go ahead and move out and go live with uh with her boyfriend or girlfriend, I don't know. I just don't know. Oh yes, and by the way, there guys, this this is being recorded on Friday, uh, the 22nd of July. So I just want to go ahead and actually thank you guys so much for 400 subscribers. 400. That's that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot of subscribers. Um, Jen and I actually never really thought we were actually going to be able to get here with 400. Um, it was definitely something that really surprised me. When I saw that earlier, and I'm like, oh my god, we actually made it all the way here now. So, thank you guys so much for that. She wants to cure illness with medicine because she's sick. Oh, poor, poor Destiny. She's ill. She's so ill there, guys. Poor Destiny. Alright, but anyways, though, I think I'm just going to go ahead here, and we're going to end this part. So, I know it's like a little bit shorter than everything else, but... She gets all know I'm working like crazy shifts, and well, not really, not really like working crazy shifts. I just I work a lot of shifts, and yeah. <laughs> anyway, so guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this part, don't forget to leave a thumbs up as well as like comment on what you think would happen next, like baby names and uh, Anastasia's and, and well Destiny's status of being a girly girl or a tomboy or a goth which is a teenager because she should be a teenager here very 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 soon um as well as i don't know 
as Anastasia. I, I, I don't know about Anastasia. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you all in the next part. <laughs> Bye there, guys.